Hey guys, and welcome back to another Halloween video. Now, today I have my final trick-or-treat lane video that I'm going to be doing. Now, this isn't my last video of the trick-or-treat marathon I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have two more videos coming up, actually. But this is my final of the trick-or-treat lane series specifically. So, today I have a review of the Black Cat Flat by Department 56. So, the theme of this building, again, as you can probably tell, is theme the theming of it is Black Cats. And... Just as a heads up, I love this building. I think that it's one of the best additions of Trick or Treat Lane that they've ever done. It's definitely one of my absolute favorites of it. It's just, it's such a nice looking house. And um, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. It's great details on it. And um, one of the really cool things about this piece actually that I probably should mention is that it's a gift set. So first up here, you have these maple leaves right here. Now they come in a bigger bag than this and they come with quite a few of them, but only grabbed a few because I didn't want to construe them all over my table. And um, you also have this maple tree right here, which, by the way, if it looks messed up, that's because I accidentally stepped on it uh, when getting it out of the box. I fell and actually squashed it, so that's why it looks a little messed up. And um, right here, you actually have this little figurine that shows a uh, mermaid and a caveman holding a stick, pointing at the black cat. I believe it's called Black Cat Crossing. So again, this is such a nice looking house with all the decorations on it. I love the big Happy Halloween sign on the top of the roof. It's very nice with the big black cat face on it. As you can see, there's scattered maple leaves all over the uh, the top of the house as well as the yard part of it. You have these black cat decorations in the yard. You know, one that's on top of a pumpkin. You even have one that's by the porch. And uh, you also have uh, on the right side of the building another black cat like poster. Not poster, but like you know, lawn steak that you might find at, I don't know, Home Depot or Lowe's or something along those lines. So, again, it looks great. And what looks even greater is the lighting on this piece. Now, this building has amazing lighting on it. As you can see, there is uh, orange light scattered throughout the lining of it, the lining of the roof. But on top of that, there's also a green light inside of the building. And the uh, big sign on top, the black cat eyes, they light up green as well. Again, it just it looks fantastic lit up and just looks fantastic in general. I can't say enough praises about this piece. I think that it's it just it screams Halloween. That's what I think. Again, the big happy Halloween sign on top really gives that vibe. And um it's just it's very nostalgic. I love the orange lighting on it. It's just this is one of my special pieces. This is like one of my again, this is one of my favorites at Trick or Treat Lane. You are going to be seeing this on my Hall of Fame as well. So yeah, guys, that pretty much sums up how I feel about the Black Cat Flat. We ended off with a bang as far as, like, trick-or-treat lane goes. Fantastic building. Again, this and Spider House and Glares and Stairs. These are my my three Mona Lisa pieces as far as, like, trick-or-treat lane goes. I think that those are the three best ones. And I absolutely love all of them. So, yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes it. But before I go here, I actually wanted to show you something that I've been working on for the past few weeks. I've actually been coming up with concepts for some upcoming trick-or-treat houses that Department 56 could do, which that would be awesome if Department 56 watches this and takes inspiration from some of them. So, uh, first up here, this is the Witch House. Now, this building will be lit with green lights, as you can probably tell, and um, it'll actually be animated, as you can see, with the two witches on top. I think that would be a great idea. Next up here is the Ghost House. Now... As far as the lighting on this piece goes, the big ghost in the tree will light up, as well as the ones behind the tombstones. Um, I love the idea of Ghost House as well. This one is the Monster House. Now, of course, the theming on this one are all the famous monsters, and their eyes will light up, as well as the big moon in the back. And my, uh, my most complete one, as far as like the coloring goes, is the Candy House, which, as you can see right here. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.